Has this ever happened to you? So you have a Dragoon, and it can't be targeted and cannot be destroyed, right? Absolutely not. But can it be tributed, though? Yeah, but you're not playing birds, right? With Kong Kong in the field, I'm going to tribute your Dragoon for cost for my mood on effect from hand. I'll negate with Dragoon. You can't do that. It tributes for cost. No way! What is up all you beautiful people, it's I, Akami TCG, back with a brand new deck profile. And we got top four at the Providence, Rhode Island Regional. Wow, we had 252 players and we managed to get fourth place, only losing once in grands against Mathmech. I'll talk about my matchups in a bit. If you want to play Rikos, you know, I've been playing it for quite a long time. There's a million different ways to play the deck. Some people play it just the pure way. I play it with Sunavlon, Rika, and the Therian package. So let's go right into the deck profile. We have the Field Center. Obviously, you need the Field Center. Get one of these at AkamiTCG.com, limited edition. I'm running low on these actually, so get them up before this is done. And I couldn't top the regional without today's sponsor, Dank Ritual Premium TCG Accessories. They got me with the cloth mat. You know, listen to that. You hear that? That sounds like fresh cloth. And look how neat all the cards slide. That's some fresh Akemi TCG verified. The cards just slide so well onto the mat. And, and we got the dice too. And with every single order of these dice, they're really heavy, you know, they're cool sounding. Sound like Mahjong. This is how you win your dice rolls, guys. With every order of dice, you have a chance to get glow in the dark dice. So you can do your opponent in the dark at four in the morning and beat them with Rika fairies. Also, I put my Rika deck inside of their premium leather deck box. Look at that yokai deck box. It's got that nice leather feel. And when you open it, check this out. It has two different compartments. One for your main deck, one for your side deck, plus your dice, plus whatever paraphernalia you need. And it's got that sick design. Look at that. This is how you be winning duels nowadays. So upgrade your TCG accessories today with Dank Ritual. Get yourself this nice cloth mat, get yourself a deck box, get yourself the whole shebang today. So essential, you need three Sunsea Genius Losi. That is a Sunavalon engine, so obviously you're gonna need three of those. Three Rika Princess. Essential, if you're playing less than three, I'm pretty sure you're just doing it wrong at this point. Three Rika Petal. This is pretty much always going to be in your graveyard, so you need three, obviously. Two Mudon. And then controversial here is going to be the first one, which is Snowdrop. Snowdrop is controversial because people think that you only need one. But if you're playing against Kashtira, they're probably going to banish your stuff. So you're probably going to need two. I've had situations where one of the Kashtira cards, they banished my Snowdrop. And I'm like, man, I wish I had another one. And I did. So two almost always comes up. And it's really, really good in tandem with Kong Kong. So I just really, really like it at two. And also, I play a really high plan count. So next I have Lone Fire. Just the one Lone Fire. You're not really ever gonna go into it, but it works really well with some of the tech that I have in this deck. Next, one Sunsea Twin. This is the Garnet, but you need to play one. One Primula. I only ever need one, and this current meta, more than one ever comes up. And most of the time, they're not gonna hit it with the Rise Star, and if they do, then it's really not that big of a deal. Hand Traps, the only Hand Trap I play is two Ash. Again, it's branded. Sometimes we lose, so Ash is the way. One cactus sponsor, this card is the MVP. This is a searchable, searchable Vanity's Fiend. Stops both players to special summoning. This guy is an 1800 beef stick. Put your opponent on edge every single time a duel against someone. They read this card, they're like, every single time. Really, really strong card. Be on the lookout for this card. This card is insane. One king, two lily, three lilies, a little bit bricky. Two is the right number for me. Onto the spells, we got. 3 Rika Glamour, essential. 3 Unexpected Die, that is full combo, that is essential. 2 Sewing, I like Sewing at 2 just because if you don't open Loci, you can still pop off with Princess plus Sewing, which happens quite often. So you can still pop off in that way. Or literally just any level 4 or lower plant that you can just rip with it. And sometimes they Ash or Imperm your Dry Ass and you have the Sewing hand, you're like, haha, got him. So it's really good. Two tactics. I tried one tactics, one thrust. I didn't think it was that good. Two tactics is better. You want to rip your opponent's hand, make sure they have no more combo, or steal your opponent's stuff. With Rise Heart, it's pretty free. I took someone's 
Diablosis, the Mind Hacker, and then I banished seven cards off their deck, and it felt really, really good off of their own cards. So, got him. Two Konkon. Obviously, you need that for the deck. One for one, because it's also just full combo as well. One Harpy's Feather Duster. You have to respect traps in this format. Possibly Field Spells, Runic Fountain, all that fun stuff. So, Duster should be in the main. One Monster Reborn. I really like this. It's a free extender. Sometimes they're going to Ash, they're going to Imprim, they're going to hit whatever, right? And Monster Reborn just alleviates so many different problems, gives you so many different options, and I really like that card. And one Disco Coliseum, because you're playing Ethereum Package. Traps. Bam! Three evenly matched this deck kind of loses to like every trap deck so you should just main deck three evenly and it's disgusting. You don't control whether or not you go first or second so evenly matched is the way to go. And obviously one Rika Sheep because you need it for the combo. And for the extra deck we got two Dryas. I've never really needed three and three has literally never come up in every single time I play this deck so two is the way. One Thrasher. This is for certain OTK lines and also plays around Testudo or Rat Newman, which is the sprite card they use to attack against this deck. And Thrasher just beats the crap out of that deck and it's so good. One healer, you heal with the Jasmine on the field, then you gain life. This also wins you in time because you get 300 life. So if you go into game three, there's five minutes on the clock. Your combo takes about six or seven minutes if you do it properly and quickly. So with healer, you can gain some life and then give yourself an edge over your opponent. Two Jasmine. I tried one and they Kashtira hit it with Mind Hacker every time, so two is the way, and I really, really like two. One Malias, need that for the combo. One Dance Field, need it for the combo. Mangalancer combo. Uh, Hyperiton combo. Two Teardrop. I think this is the best rank eight, and that's why you play two. A lot of people play one, but I just like it at two because also some Kashtira players just tend to hit the Teardrop too, they get scared, so. One Kanzashi. A lot of people are questioning about why I play this card. This is literally an OTK, okay? This plus this an OTK. 28 swing, 24, that's 52. During battle phase, Teardrop Tribute itself. This will trigger. You can summon her back. 28, that's exactly game. It's come up way more often than not. Like, trust me guys, it comes up really, really, really often. So, definitely have this on board. And also, it has, gives you guys protection from card effects, destructions, and it's just good. And lastly, two strand of the Rika Queen. Three has never come up, two is the right number for me. Side deck, we have one Panker Tops, two Gamma Seal, two Cosmic, one Call By. This is probably changing to the third Gamma Seal once Pirelli comes up, but Call By pretty much you're going first, you don't know what's going on. And this gives you an extra protection against Droll, against Ash, Ogre, etc. Whatever hand trap they have that's not Nib, this protects you against, besides Imperm, obviously. Three Dark Ruler, you have to respect Rogue and Interior Runic, and I think Dark Ruler will pretty much permanently stay in the side or the main depending on how the format goes. And for the spicy stuff, when you're going first, three Solemn Judgment. This wins you so many games. Some people just have double evenly, Book of Eclipse plus outs, Dark Ruler no more, Solemn Judgment is just the answer. And last but not least, we have three Polynosis, which is literally just a Solemn Judgment for tributing a plant. And if you guys don't know, this also triggers the Kanzashi effect, so this is another reason why you play Kanzashi with the- Yeah, it comes up, it comes up guys. It comes up. That is it for the deck profile guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, we worked really really hard to get to this point and I couldn't have done it without pretty much everybody back from mass supporting all you guys at the YouTube channel, Umbrella Gang, y'all supporting me from day one and I love all of you guys, the haters, the subscribers, the commenters, the trolls, y'all the best. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.